For this, I want to start from the beginning. This story can, comes back from uh, more than a year ago. We started writing a proposal for a Horizon 2020 project. And we started adding concepts of supercomputers, big data, artificial intelligence. And at some point, we could add Football Group Barcelona as a partner. We were very excited. We submitted the proposal. And obviously, we were rejected. Right? So we, did, we went back to the drawing board. We, we went to the project manager's office, for, for, of course. Uh, we had to rewrite everything, and the, we needed their help. They are always very available. They don't have much to do. We don't write some, uh, proposals as uh, much as, uh, as they want. And we realized what we were missing was one more buzzword, right? So we uh, evaluated quantum computing, maybe blockchain. In the end, we decided to add Internet of Things to the project. So we put that, we submitted, and this time we finally got the project accepted. So it's a very large project, right? So many, many logos. But there are three important ones here, BSC, of course. Fudo Club Barcelona, because it's the one I'm going to talk about, and Echetar. So these are the two companies that will work with Barcelona Supercomputing Center in demonstrators for this project. And I'm not going to talk, going to talk about Echetar. This is the project that Filippo Mantovani is doing. I don't know where he is, but if you want to talk, he's, he's available. Now, right off the bat, what are we going to do with Fudo Club Barcelona? We're not going to be doing anything about the players. So we try to get them to give us some uh, you know, a strategy, technique, whatever we wanted. They are very re uh, not very receptive. Maybe someday, we, someday we will. For now, we're going to do something that has to do with infrastructure and machine learning and big data. All of these words. This is what you get usually as a scheme when you when you have one of these projects. You have something that you want to measure. You have many many devices measuring these sensors. Then you put this data into some machine learning algorithm that gives some recommendations so that you can operate this infrastructure a little bit more efficiently. Now, if you're thinking about there are sensors, there's a lot of data. So unfortunately, I have to tell you, we're not going to be using Paraver with Football Club Barcelona. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. But uh, I promise you, they will. They don't know, but they, they eventually they will, uh, they, use, they will use Paraver. IO Twins is what I need to explain uh, to, uh, to get to do what we're going to do is a little bit of a twist on this scheme. So instead of just sensors, we're beefing up these sensors, and we're, doing, we're using what they now call edge devices. So it's basically IoT devices with some GPUs, so we can do artificial intelligence and powerful algorithms. And instead of just using uh, typical machine learning or AI algorithms for optimization, we're going to add there what's called a digital twin. So for the people that are a little bit older, it's just a simulation. And this is an important point, because it's not any simulation. It has to be as realistic as possible. And we need a supercomputer. So this is why we come in there. Now, if you think we're going to be doing simulations, then that's great. So the bad news is that we're not going to be using uh, Alia or, or some of our software here. So I'm sorry, Guillaume. I don't know. I didn't see you today. We are going to be doing something that we have been doing for industry a lot. So what is now called Industry 4.0, if, if you want to keep count, is we take data from these sensorized machines, and we try to do uh, more efficient operations of the machine. We try to use less energy, and we want to do pre predictive maintenance, so know when things are going to break down. But of course, this is when you have nuts and bolts, actual machines. Fudo Club Barcelona doesn't have that, but they have a nice stadium, right? So this stadium can be thought about as just a facility, like you would have in any other industry or plant, where this, the nuts and bolts are now people. right? And they carry their own sensors. They buy them, upgrade them for the, uh, on their own. And what we want to improve is their experience. This is what Football Club Barcelona uh, says is, uh, is the word for selling more Frankfurts and, and tickets. right? We want to increase, increase their safety, and we want to deal uh, with the free will. So this is not just a machine that will do things deterministically, but they will get to um, do at some point whatever they want and not what you tell them to do. And this is on top of random stuff, like the weather and, and the traffic and riots and everything else. Now, we are going to be use, uh, using a little bit of weather, Paco, not so much, sorry, but a little bit of weather influences the, the way people move. And this is the, the project. So we want, to talk, we want to be studying how people move. This is actually difficult. So this is what we're going to do with the Camp Nou Stadium and the Football Club Barcelona. They're going to be renovating the stadium in the next four, uh, two years. 
but they're not going to close it. They're going to be keep using it. So they, they will be closing a little bit of the stadium every week. And for this, obviously, they will have, they will, uh, because of this, they will create a lot of disruptions in the evacuation plans and all of the safety uh, plans that they have. But obviously, in all the entry and exit, they move 100,000 people in less than 20 minutes every week. So this is a, a really hard problem. And apart from this, apart from the stadium, we're also be going to be getting data on all the areas around the stadium where you have the Palau, but also the museum the, and the store. And this is not a small place. They, they receive about 15,000 people per day, so 5 million per, people per year. So this is a very nice, nice demonstrator also that is, is uh, applicable to commercial areas and, and, and stores. So the structure is the same. Is, is this. We have the infrastructure is the stadium. We have the sensors, our Wi-Fi, 5G sensors, uh, cameras with artificial intelligence on top of them to detect what people are, their profiles, digital signage where we control where people can move. And then we have our digital twin, which is based on Pandora, a software that we have. It's, there's a nice documentary we have created about this, if you want to see it. And mobility models for the machine learning uh, algorithms. So finally, and very important, this will be created by a very large team here inside BSC people from case and from computer science. And obviously, we have one more team member here that's missing, which is Mare Nostrum. So I'm very proud to say that we will be using Mare Nostrum every week to tie it and finally connect it with uh, Camp Nou and, and get you know, every week to a, <laughs> a nice love story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>